Yeah, hey, uh, thanks for coming to my uh, YouTube channel here. <clears throat> Just going to talk to you about uh, some of the great places to live in the Pittsburgh area. Uh, <clears throat> currently, I'm in Butler, the city of Butler. Uh, so, I mean, if you want to live in a city area, uh, you know, you can got downtown Pittsburgh. Uh, you got uh, Butler, you got Washington, you got Newcastle, Greensburg, and uh, you got Mercer. These are all like the county seats for the different areas. And, uh, you know, so if you want city living, these all have uh, really cool areas to, to kind of reside. Uh, if you want some of the outskirts, you just want to, you know, he head to all these areas uh, in some of the suburbs and to enjoy those things. Uh, you know, unique to uh, Pittsburgh is we got, uh, you know, one of the highest uh, boating registrations in the area. And, and that would actually be like Allegheny County as a county has one of the highest boat registrations. And, it's, you know, you got the three rivers, Allegheny, Monongahela, and the uh, Ohio River. And you can travel quite a ways, uh, and, and uh, almost every bit of that's navigable. And then we have quite a few small lakes around the area that have some, you know, a lot, a lot of, to offer in, in when it comes to boating and fishing and stuff. Uh, you know, the uh, reason I'm uh, doing this one, we got this house. It's on a third floor. I'm on a deck here. You know, you're overlooking the whole city, which is kind of neat. I guess they, they claim that all the uh, fireworks, you know, go off in that area right around there. Uh, that's kind of Main Street, you know, as you're kind of looking over the over my shoulder there. You, you have a lot to offer in Pittsburgh, you know, with all the arts uh, in downtown. Uh, you know, Western Pennsylvania is when we say, uh, you know, the greater Pittsburgh area, you know, it really involves quite a large area. You got Allegheny County, Westmoreland County, Butler County, Washington County, Beaver County. And, uh, and when it comes to pricing, you know, the city, the pricing has really gone crazy there. And, uh, you know, Butler, I'm in Butler County right now, the, the average price of homes is considerably lower in uh, Butler County. Uh, you'll see a lot of um, like Cranberry Township, Mars, uh, those areas have really built up and it's primarily due to the tax, uh, the tax basis there. Uh, you know, the taxes are considerably less. You know, you might buy a four or $500,000 house across the county line there and it'll be, you know, four or 5,000. You know, you move just south of there and uh, Wexford, uh, where my office is, my, my office is in Wexford, uh, Century, um, Century 21's in Wexford, PA. And uh, so, I mean, that same house would probably be 10, eight, nine, 10, 11,000 dollars in taxes. Uh, that's, you know, between four and 500,000. Uh, so, I mean, that, that's the reason, you know, a lot of the areas outside the county is built up right along the area there. Uh, Butler County uh, north out of the you got uh, you got Route 79 it goes north and south and then right off of that goes 279 which comes right into city Pittsburgh you got uh, the uh, Route 28 that goes north out of Pittsburgh and then you got the Parkway East Parkway West Parkway West takes you towards uh, Robinson and the uh, the airport and then you go east takes you uh, towards Monroeville on out towards Murraysville those areas, uh, Murraysville is, out, is in Westmoreland County, and it's been, uh, it's a really moving area. A lot of, you know, Monroeville was the place to be for the longest time. Uh, but somehow, you know, as um, taxes creep up, Murraysville has now increased, because it's just a, uh, just beyond Monroeville, and it was kind of, the, you know, the next suburb beyond there. So it's really helped out a lot uh, for those areas. Uh, <clears throat> there, you know, there's a ton to do. I mean, we have tons of great restaurants. Uh, you know, they got the three rivers for boating, got uh, the sports teams. You know, we, all, we have all the different sports teams, Penguins, Steelers, Pirates. Uh, they're really a good time out. We have a lot of the arts and the symphonies, and you know, to enjoy. Uh, you know, we have a lot of parks around the area. Uh, here in Butler, uh, most notable would be uh, Moraine State Park. Uh, you know, we call it Lake Arthur. Uh, it's a great little place. They do sailing, uh, canoeing, kayaking, and there's a lot of fishing. They do uh, weekly fishing tournaments up or bass fishing. Uh, there's striped bass in there. Uh, you know, there's it's probably one of the closer ones from downtown Pittsburgh that people utilize. Uh, there's a couple smaller ones. Uh, you got Crooked Creek that'd be north uh, and to the south down towards Washington. You have, uh, I think it's uh, Cross Creek is down there. So people do a lot of boating and fishing down there. They do some weekly tournaments and uh, kayaking, that type of thing. And uh, you know, there's uh, the Kiskey River. People love to do, uh, that goes into the Allegheny up north of Pittsburgh. They love to do a lot of kayaking and canoeing on there. Um, you know, within an hour to two hours north, uh, you can go up uh, to north of Interstate 80. And uh, you know, the weather, so you know, the, the Interstate 80 is always the line. When people go north of Interstate 80, it's like, okay, the weather is just different. You can go up there in June and find snow at times. It's just crazy. Um, but it's a, it, 
but it's great that people do a lot of camping and uh, hunting up that way and uh, spend a lot of weekends up there. It's just, uh, you know, you're, you're really going back 20 to 30 years when you go above north of I-80, the weather, I mean, it's just the, the, the living, just slower, and it's, and, it's, and it's awesome. So that's why people are still up there, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, if you go 79 north, you got Erie, which is probably about two, two and a half hours north of Pittsburgh. So, I mean, you got Prescott Bay. People do, do a lot of kayaking and, and just water sports. And uh, there's water parks up there, uh, casinos. Uh, you know, people do a lot of day trips out there. Uh, and recently, my wife and I uh, had gone out east, out the Turnpike to Bedford, uh, Bedford Springs uh, Resort. Uh, they got a golf course, uh, you know, the, the springs. They got the Bedford Springs, so you can enjoy the springs. And it's just a nice, uh, nice weekend away. And then uh, we stopped at Flight 93 uh, Memorial. Uh, Shanksville is what it's most notably called, uh, but it's just east of Somerset. It's probably about an hour, hour and a half from Pittsburgh. Uh, I don't want to say it's a nice weekend away, but it's something you should check out if you have not been out there. And uh, I had been out there while I was on a men's retreat uh, through our church, uh, Generations House of Worship, and we were in conjunction with uh, Grace Life Church out of Monroeville. Uh, we were at Camp Allegheny, which was literally not even a mile from the, the memorial, so we spent some time there uh, just in prayer and just uh, taking in what that is. Uh, but uh, so if you're looking for uh, some other activities, you can message me. Uh, you know, certain particular uh, things you like to do, I, you know, I'll message you back, let you know if uh, we have those things to offer. And I, I know one of the things that people are really into is like breweries and stuff. Like every town we have around here now has breweries. Uh, and it, but the, you know, they offer uh, you know, nice menus and my wife and I like to go there because they always have uh, good food. And uh, you know, we're uh, kind of becoming little foodies, I guess, if you want to call it that. I enjoy checking out nice places uh, to get a good meal. But uh, any other things around Pittsburgh, let me know what you'd like to do. Uh, you know, I'd mentioned uh, just being over the border of Butler County is good. Uh, you could also go over the border of uh, Beaver County. Uh, pricing for homes is good there. Uh, you know, if, if you're trying to minimize your costs and get into a nice community, uh, that, those are the areas I would look at, it, depending on where you're going to be working and stuff. You know, but if you're working from home, then you, you really opens up a lot of options. I would probably venture up the 79 corridor towards uh, Mercer County. Butler County, uh, Lawrence County, you know, that way you have proximity. I mean, you can be downtown Pittsburgh in less than an hour from some of those locations. You can go up into Lake Latonka, uh, which is Mercer, which is a boating uh, lake. Uh, it's a private community uh, where, you know, they have about a mile and a half lake, uh, long lake, where it's private access. Only owners can live there or use to access it. It's great fishing and boating and really just a place to check out. You know, if you'd like to know more about it, let me know. I have some family live up there. We spent some time up there. Uh, when I was younger, I fished up there a lot, so it was quite fun. But, uh, you know, I'm a pretty active, uh, I had been an active fisherman and boater, so I have pretty good familiarity with those types of things. Now I'm kind of a golfer, and we have golf courses all over the place. So uh, I currently golf it. It's called River Forest. It's in Freeport, Pennsylvania. It's, uh, you know, just a nice place to go. Uh, you know, there's uh, been, generations upon generations that have uh, been members there so it's kind of neat and uh, well I appreciate it. Uh, Century 21 uh, real estate uh, my name is Nick Supic if you want to know uh, more about uh, the local real estate markets I uh, do a weekly uh, market report that can be sent out and uh, you know appreciate you guys and hope you enjoy the day uh, I can be reached uh, email text phone calls uh, pigeon or Karen care uh, pigeon carry or whatever they call it huh? smoke signals you know so all right talk to you later